Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming. We're back here in Factorio. It is, of course, nighttime, so... Yeah, and we've done some off-camera work for quite some time <laughs> because uh, I wasn't able to record for just a few minutes after we did the last one. Yep. So we've been busy, and you'll see you right away that, yeah, we've got some fast transport belt that's now being produced. Well, way down the bottom, I've got a bot following me. I'm going to stand still for a moment. Yeah, we had to ramp up the Steer. supply of... Uh... Was it uh, Iron Gear wheels to supply enough? Yeah. Although and we still need some more. Uh, could do with having faster factories for that actually. So I'm going. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to need some more copper to do that. Let's go up and get the copper, and I'll uh, upgrade them to level twos. Yep. And. Uh... Stop following me, bot. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a, spent a bit of time upgrading our rail system, and right now we have. Our train's being supplied by solid fuel. There's a nice yeah, belt system. Yeah, we actually adjusted the um, iron setup as well to like a minute instead of uh, 30 seconds. But that might have. I don't think we did that in the episode, did we? I don't think so, no. No. So that's what's changed. And uh, then we've cleaned up the iron setup down the bottom, or Scott has. Uh, another miner unused over here. And the one off there, they can both go. We'll be finally ditching this iron supply down here now because uh, it's coming to its knees. Yep. Alright. And uh, yeah, we extended it to a minute so we'd have a larger buffer. Replaced them with uh, the fast um, inserters so that, yeah, it would move a lot faster. Yep, these are running down fairly quickly, so. Another thing we might want to do is start up another train, and uh, we have the iron down here to the south east thing is, that we can... Yeah. You want another train for that? Uh, yep. Uh, I can make another train, I just don't have enough engine units, so I'll grab some off the belt down here. Did you grab, you grab the, uh, the other locomotive off that other, our oil, iron train? So you should have at least one of them. Oh, good job you said that. I've, I had it in my, uh, <laughs> in my pocket. And actually, I'm going to switch the direction of this. Yeah. Where do you want it to go? Which way? Um, I would take it to the uh, main base and set it up on one of the uh, unused tracks. Oh, the three ones. Okay. Oh. Why is this stopped? Ah, oh, it's that rail signal thing. That's why I thought the other one was stopped earlier. Yeah. Just oh god. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have this, to set up a few. This bottom one's unused, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that middle one there. Yeah. It's getting fueled now. So I'm gonna have to set up. What's Cameron Collins? Is that where we're taking it to? Um. I'd have to check. It, that might be the uh, new rail uh, station I set up. Is this the one down the iron which you wanted it send, send into? Yep. So that's fine, isn't it? Main base or... Is it just main base or, or is it main base or two? What, what's this one called? I would... Main base or two. There we go. Now do it to the, uh, the other one. Because if it's going to deliver uh, iron... Um... Oh, can, can, it, can it go to the same one as the yes, other one? Yes, it can. So that's just main base R, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I'll set that for 60 as well. So it's 60 on both. Um, it's got the fuel. No, it hasn't got a... Uh, it hasn't got a cargo wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have two cargo wagons? Yes. I'll go get some more steel then. Okay. And then I'll run it. Need some steel to make it. I should have got steel from down the bottom, but now I'm halfway up. I may as well get it from there. <laughs> Grabbed it from where the, like the rail track gets produced. Yep. There we go. Made another one. I'll stop and let these bots uh, drop off their items to me. Thank you very much. Now I'll run down here. Um. No! What happened? Wait, wait, hold on. That's right, isn't it? 
Gosh, that... Oh, you've just added some more inserters there or some... Oh, no, no, no. I'm getting really confused. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the stop above, so I thought, oh, the train's still there. No, that's already got two. Why am I adding one? Then I looked, and no, it's got one. I've just added it to make two. And then it looked as if it was pulling it off the train, but in actual fact, it's putting it onto the belt, which is, like, hidden by the train. Yep. <laughs> you see what, I'm... Mm -hmm. <laughs> see what I mean? Uh, oh. Oh, I was going to hop in that. Can I get in the cargo wagon? If you if you can make it, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't. It's going to go all the way around. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's going to stop at that new iron stuff. Yeah, it should. Cameron Collins. <laughs> <laughs> it should be changed to iron stop one. Ah, uh, would that change it on the train side then? Yep. Ah, yeah, it's changed. There we go. I'll stop the train so you can set up the... Mm -hmm. Uh, we actually unlocked a flamethrower. Why have I not made one? Hmm. Oh, we've got the combat shotgun. Yep. I made I'm... one, although I'm going to wait till uh, we get piercing rounds, which is military four. Ah, uh, flamethrower ammo is going to be hard. I, thought, I was thinking I could just use it right now and <laughs> play the trees, but we've got to do a bit of oil to get that out of Yep. But... That's really soon. We could probably do that in this episode anyway, but um, mm -hmm. I was spotting it right now to clear the trees. That's yeah. what I meant by that's going to be hard. It's It won't be hard. But. <laughs> I think with this, there is ore that's sitting underneath the rail station. So what we're going to have to do is underground belt it. There's ore sat underneath it? Yep. Like, uh, I ended up running the rail line over top of the ore. It was so just... if we build the miners right up and then underground belt it to the middle? Yep. Okay. And, uh... Would help to have some robots, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, it would be. Definitely would help. <laughs> Do we still have that robo pot up the top that we're probably not going to be using in ages now, that for the solar panels? Yep, we should still have it. Uh, I was thinking of bringing that down, but we're more or less cleared out here anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's one that we can put to use when we need one. Yep. Because uh, it might be quite a while until we're using that. We can use five. Coming up. I think we can use five, right? You'll want to flip those the other way around. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Being a dummy. And I, th I think we can fit six, but I usually go with four or five. We'll go with five. Don't want to go too overkill. <laughs> they are flipped, do not worry. <laughs> they just haven't changed. It's Oh, that's... Yeah, they <laughs> it, it won't let me overwrite them, but they are flipped. That makes no sense. <laughs> All right. Now we just need power. That'll work quite like what I've just done. Yep. The five like that. Have I placed them wrong again? Nope. That's great. Yep, we just need to bring some power over, so I'll do that. Oh no, we've got power in the area, kind of. Yeah, we just need to bring it up. Well, we can start at the bottom, and the bottom had ended would be powered. This is a huge iron area. And... Alright, so I think I have two miners on me. Do you have any on you? I've got 22. <laughs> In clearance, <laughs> clearing so many. Yep. Uh, um... Just taking out a few more trees. There we go. So we can bring up the power from as low as it can go. I'll do it from there. Now it won't let me do that. There we go. This is going to be a huge mining operation. Mm hmm. I'm going to place down all of them. Oh, God, I've picked up some iron ore. <laughs> I'm going to put it on the train. 
Cat we have in that. Right, I've got 13 more. Um, Let's place these all down. I was thinking if we do it horizontally. Although, uh, this could work as well. Yeah, what I was thinking was uh, let's put them in little sections like that and lead yep. them off the top at horizontally, but that might not be the best way. Um, it should work. Do you have a transport belt on you? Transport belt. Yep. Uh, okay. I'm just uh, crafting some right now. I've got the fast variety. I'm going to start using that. Okay. I think we're far enough in the game to start using that for like from now on. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I I tend to only use it where it's really necessary. <laughs> All right, we can remove it then. Usually, if we need to supply a. If it's not something you want to do, that's that's fine. We'll remove it. <laughs> It's just me who always places it everywhere when we've unlocked it. I think mm -hmm. everyone that I've watched play Factorio does eventually. Like, just places it everywhere. Yep. Uh, when you've unlocked it, you just get used to the speed. I think that's why they do it. But yeah, we can still use the basics. I even still use the uh, the small power poles. <laughs> Mostly because oh. they're cheap and easy. <laughs> I gave up on those a long time ago. Right, that seems to have held how I've done that. Uh, we'll want to shift this uh, this one up. Which one? This one, just to maximize its... Uh... Because there would be a spot where... It will uh, not uh, mine out. But, uh, uh, what I would do is I yeah, that's where this gap is on this side. But I've had to run the poles down there no, for now. It's uh, this uh, miner that I'm standing beside. It was down uh, when I moved it up. Basically, there would be this uh, row here that oh, would okay. not get actually mined out. Yeah. So I just uh, shifted it up one so it'll mine it out. This area here, where all this iron ore is going through, this would be a good place for a uh, fast belt. Yeah. And uh, when it sends up underneath, probably a fast uh, underground belt, which I can craft right now. The fast ones, oh, that, that's still a bug. What's that? The fast ones, you know when you like overwriting and it they don't come up as curves, they come up as like straight pieces but they turn into curves when you place them down? Yep. Still a bug. <laughs> I'm gonna put fast on the bit where it's coming in as well. Okay. So that it'll come in just a bit like fast. Yep. That's the idea of fast belt. <laughs> coming a bit fast. <laughs> if it didn't, I would be worried. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got like half of it coming in into the fast section. Alright, so now we can... Uh... Run the train. Yep. There we go. I'm going to climb in it. Just in time. <laughs> <laughs> Press enter just before it set off. That was good. Oh, he's having to wait. <laughs> One thing we can do is have both of these trains visit the top stop as well as this one. Yeah, we can do. And we can, set uh, that off. We I'll can... set that off with this one while it's still here. And what we can do is we can have it uh, stop at each one for 30 seconds. Which one do you want first? Uh, the uh... Iron stop, one up. Iron... This one to go to two, and then one. We need to... Oh, are you... Yeah, we need to go to main base or then iron stop two and then iron stop one. On both? Yep. Oh, let me do that. And main then... base or iron stop two for 60 seconds. Hopefully it doesn't... It's going to run me over. <laughs> I moved just as I realised. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's going to set off any second. All right, iron stop two, iron stop one, add for 60 seconds. There we go. 
we could probably have it run for 30 seconds. All depends on... Yeah, because we're now using two, and it's going to visit them twice. Yep. Like, it's, it's going to visit two. I'll have it off-world for 60, though, because two stations add to 60. Yep. If you're welding both at 30, then, yeah, 30 plus 30 is 60. Is that what you set the other one to? I didn't change it. I'll go change it. Okay. What we can also do with this... Do we just have... Yeah, wooden chests. Oh, look at the pollution cloud down that bottom area where we just <laughs> put all the miners. Yep. Uh, um, uh, we may want to think about oh, putting you didn't some... Oh, you didn't even add the thing. I, I, I get what you mean. Okay. Didn't put what? Can, can I still add stuff to the schedule even though it's moved on? I, I believe you can. Right. You didn't, um, you didn't, you didn't change the other one at all. I thought you did. No. I... Right. I've like... just changed it, so it's <laughs> probably going to head down there now, hopefully, if it mm -hmm. didn't go past the station by the time I changed it. Alright. In my luck, it's gone past it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gone past it. <laughs> Great. Um, so that's all buffering up. It'll go into the wooden buffers. It's not making it to the end of the belt to go into the last buffer, but that makes sense because they're going to fill up mm -hmm. the earlier ones first and then the end ones will fill. Okay. Yeah, I see what it's doing now. That makes sense. Uh, the iron could be more tightly packed around here, but it's a fast belt. It's heading through fast. I'll leave it. Okay. Right now, I, I'm setting up another unloading station so that uh, our ore ah, okay. will... Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, because uh, this one's just come here and it's half full. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that makes sense. It's gone to the other one first. <laughs> I'm forgetting this stuff. Forgetting the basics. There, there, and... Now, all we need to do is change this stop so that it is... Oh, yeah, no, no, not that stuff. Just change this. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's hot. It can't be smelted fast enough now. That's a good thing. <laughs> wow. It's it's completely gridlocked. Mm -hmm. I think that's because we're not researching now. Not much is going on at all with iron at the moment. No, all the research is blogged up, so it's it's not it's not using it. It's not, it's not needed. Mm -hmm. The second we started using it, it'd probably cause a bit of an occurrence, but um, it's it's uh, it's fully uh, locked at the moment. What research did you want to do? The shotgun shell damage. I can't yes. believe we started doing that. Let's uh, let's get that done. It's only fifty red. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to take about a minute. I'm going to just observe if it has time to actually unload the whole of the uh, cargo wagons. Yep. If it does, then it's worth it. If not, then we might have to extend the timer. But actually, it's going to be tightly packed, so the buffer might already be uh, jammed. Okay. Ah, we've got a new iron stop. Have we? Have we got a new iron stop? Um, we have the uh, main base... Or there's two stops nah, with that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So what will happen is when the second train comes in, it won't wait. So they're both called main base or. Yep. Uh, I I get it. So you can like uh, say that they're not going to wait. Yep. That is great. Um, so that buffer's fully full. That one's still unloading. That seems fine. It's just going to unload into the wooden chest. And yeah, it more or less unloaded. It had a bit left, but um, the buffers are full anyway, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Well, almost. But 
now we're researching stuff, the iron might need to be smelted again, but that it looks like it's going to handle it amazingly. Yep. It's all pushed through the whole thing really fast. We just need to get copper up to the same standard soon. It will be. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. So right now we've got no bottlenecks at all in the factory. Everything is great. So. Shotgun shell shooting speed, let's do that. What was I going to set up? Flame Pro ammo. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Just go take some iron plating. Uh, do we have any iron plates nearby? Uh, we kind of do. We don't have it. Um, I'm not sure the best place to do flame for a ammo. It's one of those on the side things, isn't it? We're not going to want um yeah. a lot of. How much does it re or what does it require? It um, it requires light oil, heavy oil, and iron plate. Light oil, heavy oil, and iron plate. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that would. Well, we have light oil and heavy oil, and it needs to be produced in what a uh, chemical factory. Yeah. And then. I'm gonna decrease the amount of transport belts I'm requesting down to fifty. Okay. I don't want hundred <laughs> anymore. I might not even want two hundred fast transport belts anymore. Mhm. Mm I definitely don't need a hundred advanced circuits. I can go down to 50. Processing units can stay at 100, 200 solar panels. We don't need any. Go, solar panels. Go, accumulators. Yeah, flamethrower is not a weapon I've actually ever used. <laughs> is it not? I only use it for the trees, chop the ease of getting the trees <laughs> down. But we could actually use robots for that, so I don't actually... Yep. I don't actually know if we want it, then. Might be better to not have it, thinking about <laughs> it. I've put some iron ore into the storage chest. I've been a, I'm a bad thing by doing that, but oh well. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are getting close to the end of another episode. Yeah, I'm going to place the solar panels and accumulators back into the storage system just because I am... And I'm going to remove them from my inventory slots because I'm never actually going to... I'm, I'm, I'm never going to need them. Yep. Because... Yeah. <laughs> because we're, we're done with power, at least for the next ten episodes. We're, if you look at power, we're, we're, we're fine on it. Yeah. Oh, no, we're not. We're not. It's, wow. It's most likely because the accumulators are charging. Yep. Yeah, there. There we go. <laughs> So we might need a few more. Actually, no. It can supply the current setup can supply them. Can't it? While it's doing that, I, I forgot about that. Yep. And uh, I'm not sure if we showed it on camera, but the uh, setup that we have to uh, control whether the accumulators come on or not, or the yep. steam engines. We showed that. I explained it. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it looks like it's uh, working as planned, or as designed. Yeah, it's, so it's 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 fully shut off, which is good. Yep. And it'll only ever be needed if, uh, yeah, we have a massive power spike. Consistent massive power spike. Yeah. But, uh, like if uh, the accumulators get massively overused and mm -hmm. they can't be recharged or something, it'll kick in to help and then it'll shut off. Yep. All right, so we have a nice supply of iron now. We do. And, yep. Yeah. And we're cutting it close to episode time. 25 <laughs> minutes again. Um, but I'm glad that iron is fully backed up. Yep. However, we've not been doing the most amount of research. I'm now going to upgrade the shotgun shell damage again. Okay. Um, I know you're wanting to get into that, so I'm going to keep that going. That's going <laughs> to use a lot of the green, so 
Yeah. We may start to need a lot more iron, but right now it looks like it's it ain't going to be drained anytime soon because the second that it goes, like, any goes, it's just going to be smelted straight back up and ready. Yep. So it's it seems great. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> happy with it. Um, active provider chest, what do we need that for? Uh, where is that? Just sat next to the RoboPort Dorman up the top. Past oh, the, I, I've just removed it, but it past the rail thing. That was originally a uh, uh, was a storage chest, but I wanted to remove it and send the stuff elsewhere, so I just replaced the storage chest with a active provider. All ah, right. I thought these had run out of iron then, but uh, they hadn't. It turns out that there was just uh, mm -hmm. none on the belt. Uh, there was already some on the belt. Look at that big base down at the uh, bottom east. Oh, South yeah. east. <laughs> that is going to be interested. Oh, yeah. Pretty big. Um, Might have to take that down in a few episodes of time, guys. We'll have to see. Uh, we might not be big enough to... Do we have uh, turrets down at the uh, the iron that we added? No. We may, we might want to put some down there because reasons. Yeah. <laughs> reasons called biters. <laughs> I don't have any on me, so... Uh, oh, I do. I've got 15, but I don't have the ability to produce anymore. Mm -hmm. Wow, this miner is already empty. <laughs> it's empty. Yeah, there was a miner right at the end of this belt. Oh, yeah. I'd, yeah, they're, they're kind of like oddball ones that are like only got like 1,000 to mine. Yep. Whereas right. other ones have got like 17,000 and 21, 27. Yep. There's, there's, big, there's big stuff further in. So you have some turrets? Yeah, I've got a few. Put them down. I just like surround the whole thing. We'll, we'll probably not need them up there. They'll probably most likely come from the uh, southeast. So we'll yeah, we'll want to put them more along this bottom edge. Just to, I, I've uh, kind of put them up there in case these ones uh, like don't cover it. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um. So like, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just putting them where there's current power spaces. Yep. Uh, so I'll try and fill all the current power spaces there. Mm -hmm. That's all I've got. Well, that that should take care of it, shouldn't it? Yeah. I've put down. I'm thinking next episode I'm going to return to the uh, northeast and uh, finish off that rail line I started setting up in the previous episode. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> well, you were setting that up. What were you setting that up for again? Um, to uh, supply the base with more iron that's near the. Uh, solar panels as yep. well as there's a coal stomp which would be very yeah. good yeah well eventually we need uh both of those the iron probably in about 10 episodes time right now we've got a ton of it yep <laughs> um and by the time we get there i will be back from holiday so we've got a little bit of time oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys we have gone over <laughs> well and truly but thank you all for watching and we'll catch you next time because uh, we've done some stuff. And, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. We've done some stuff. You know what we've done. <laughs> yep. Thanks all. Thank you all for watching. And we will catch you next time. Bye-bye.